Guys. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It is 11.23. It's Monday morning. We are, I have a break from college, so I'm back down home. And we're at Hobby Lobby today because I heard rumors that there is a pretty decent selection of drones here. They have like their own little manufacturer. I've seen them before at stores. I just never really bought any or was interested in any. So there's a couple of different ones. There's one with a camera. There's one that is just like a regular mini drone. And then there's like a bigger, more full-size drone. I don't know which one we're going to see. Maybe you'll see all three of them. Who knows? So let's go inside. Let's go ahead and pick one out. Dang. Okay, so unfortunately, um, there's like a bunch of people there, and I didn't really. There's like a bunch of little kids in the toy aisle, so I didn't want to record. But we did pick up an aircraft. It is an extremely advanced aircraft for real. There's actually two more aircraft. I'll put pictures of them up on the screen. There's a folding camera drone with a case, which is kind of small. That one looks like that glow stun drone from a uh, sharper image. But it's actually way bigger. It's like a three bladed little stun drone. This one is the biggest and most expensive one. This is the Axles Aircraft SX-15. And as you can see, it's advanced because it's a science UAV. Bro, the names of these are getting even better, bro. We got the Bill Nye, the science guy, signature UAV from axles aircraft bro what the hell is even that i don't even see like an actual company i think that's actually what it's called i could not find anything on them online for 30.99 it says it's 14 plus 131 feet 131 feet bro. Uh, led lights usb charts pretty standard outdoor use only, only. this is not an indoor this tour is not not an indoor pretty tour. miserable looking outside it's, though it's uh, looking quite a bit like england out there in the sense that it is wonderful weather out there right now buddy good light breeze from the light mate yeah. Uh, very, very cloudy, very, very rainy kind of thing. Got headless mode and it's got auto return and it's got 360 movement. <laughs> this, hold on, it's not six axis, it's got seven axis gyro. That's interesting, bro. Look what? Well, six, it, does, it does actually have a six you, axis. You get a bonus axis for free. Whew. Any drone racers are going to be picking this thing up and using it for professional yeah, use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. For recreational use only, man. So you cannot race in the DRL with I this thing. I think it's thing. too fast. Yeah. Open it up. Let's crack this uh, this guy open here. So see let's see if I can cut myself this time. For real. So yeah, sorry for the lack of content. We've just been kind of it's, busy living around. Yeah, it's been really, really hard for me to do pretty much anything. Yo, yo. Uh, I got a break from college, though, so that's why we can come out here and record all this. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. It's not altitude hold. That's uh -huh. actually really nice. The suspicions were correct. Not an ounce too old, just like the uh, the big quad. The big quad so back in good. back in the olden days, um, we didn't have automatic. Wow, this is huge. Ooh. Why is it? Oh, okay, it doesn't really look like a SEMA remote anymore. It's, it's so light. There's nothing in there. Oh, it's a big pad. It's like a bunch of these are probably all trims. A uh, power button, and then I'm guessing that's headless mode. And yeah, two landing legs, a USB charger, a bag of spare screws. A screwdriver. So you got pretty much everything you need. The only thing you need are the batteries for the radio. Um, okay, let's get this guy out. Wow. <clears throat> okay, wow. You can tell it's space age because it's silver. Oh my god, it's dude chrome. It's, this thing must be from the future, bro. It must be from the future. It's a science UAV. It looks pretty advanced. We got the. That's it. Yeah. All you need. You remember the airwave had this like freaking huge roadmap of an instruction nope. manual. This thing just straight to the point, man. So pretty standard design quad here. Looks a lot like an old school DJI Phantom One. Oh, of course, everyone's favorite drone design. Yeah, the old Flyaway 6000, very bulbous. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, what? Who does this? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, come on. Dude, SEMA has some that are like that too, bro. Let's take a look at this, Wally. Pretty nice looking. It's got some pretty basic little tiny prop guards that are kind of flexible. The size it's got... of these motor pods compared to the size of the motors is a little bit concerning. Yeah, these motors don't look too big or powerful. And because they're big, yeah, look how... That gear looks pretty big, too. So, it might be on a pretty heavy gear reduction. It's got a switch, though. But... Here's the battery. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is it big? What it is, is it? a... 3.7 volt, 380 milliamp hours. I was startlingly ah. close when I guessed. I said it would be a 200. 380. That's not too bad, actually. Okay. All right. Max speed is listed. I'm going to get this thing charging. Max speed is listed. 10 and a half miles an hour. Our minimum speed is... What's a minimum speed? I'm guessing in like rate one. Six minutes of flight time. 
Maximum altitude 131 feet. Maximum distance 140 steps. That's they actually bad. tested this. Okay. That's not bad. It's drone itself very light, super hollow. You can see there, there's an empty plug for where a camera would be, as well as an empty camera holder. So at one point, I don't know if this is like a rebranded model of something else. Yeah. This platform is also used as a camera drone, although this one doesn't have one. Um, Non-altitude hold, pretty Even decent easy. setup. It's white everywhere. There's no different color blades. So the only real orientation is gonna be through these oh, LEDs. Yeah, the lights. Uh, which looks like there's one pod that has a light in it and the other one's just hollow. So yeah. A little cheap there hopefully these lights are bright enough to actually give us good orientation you don't have to use that screw because it's just kind of clips in without it so i think i'd prefer not to because yeah. it just makes changing everything out easier so uh super light and it's actually like you can squeeze it together it's actually very thin and pliable kind of plastic does in fact take four double a's oh my god wow. it's a dji phantom look at uh, that now all we need is for it to fly over an active airport oh let's do that that okay, give us a proper rundown of this radio again. So what, what um, does what? <laughs> so obviously this is your throttle. That's your rudder input. This is your forward, yep. your backward, bank left, right. Uh -huh. This is your rates. rates. I don't know how many rates. It's got three rates. Oh. Stunts. Stunts, okay. Uh, this top button does nothing. This second button does nothing. This is your return home. Okay, return. Uh, th the next one is also it does nothing. Uh. This is your forward trim, back trim, okay. left trim. Okay and then your right trim, okay. and these two do nothing. These two do nothing? They don't do anything. I'm guessing this is like a record and stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, well, there's the, the radio for you, four double A's in that, and uh, all right, we're gonna get this thing charging, and we will see you guys on the field. Yep, see ya. All right. Yo, we made it to the field. Did rain pretty bad, but now the rain is over, and the wind has subsided, and let's, it is uh, time. Let's check the uh, UAV forecast just to see what's, uh, what's what here. What's yeah, we're good to fly. Goodish so. to fly. Okay, we got the Axles aircraft, it's, also known as the, I like to call this thing the Science UAV, it's, bro. It's advanced technology. It's I advanced. don't like how the radio is as big as the drone. Yeah, the radio is pretty big. big. Um, he actually ended up labeling all of it. We don't know what any of these does, any of these two do. Uh, radio usually goes on first. Um, blue and red, so not too bad. LEDs, Ys. You just put the throttle stick up and down. We do have the landing legs on because it actually can't stand on its own. So it does look sucks. really weird. It's like a bush plane. It's got big old skids and Probably stuff. Probably because of the camera. All right, so we're in rate one. This well, throttle. Oh. Oh, it was also, it's the wrong way. So actually, it turns out that the red lights are actually forward, which is weird. That's what kind of sociopath. Yeah, and also this is full throttle in rate number one, and it is. It is quite slow. Typically, the rates usually adjust the bank angle rather than the throttle. Yeah. Full speed ahead. That's fighting the wind. The wind is coming from the church towards us. So I'll try the yaw rate out. Not Isn't bad. too bad. Stability on it. Yeah. Can't really normally go with the trimming cock. It's going. It and going it has no yaw trim. So you've only got your forward backwards. And, and your uh, left and right bank, so you don't you can't actually trim it out if it starts spinning. Right, we're in rate number two now, a little faster, more angle. Doesn't look that bad, actually. Oh, wow, that's good speed out of it. Good speed. Still not in rate three yet. Terrified to think of what this thing is going to be like in rate three. We're getting some good passes in. Good passes, not fast, not bad, not bad. All right, oh. We should bump it up. Riot flip. Oh, all right. It, wow, it's tight. Oh, it kind of it kind of gives it throttle after. It gives, okay, yeah, but it doesn't need to because look how tight they are. It just stays in place. You yeah. lose no altitude with them. Try it double. Oh, no. It's too tight. Okay, so oh, listen. Shoot, the wind just blew my airplane down. So listen, listen, listen. Okay, I'm going to do a flip and I'm going to let go. I'm going to put the throttle all the way down as soon as I finish doing the flip. Mark, Ready? Focus, damn you. See, it keeps going, keeps going, and then it drops. So, so you can't double flip it. can't double it. flip it. There's a safety module built into that, which is a little lame, but, I mean, it is what Smart. it is. Smart. Yeah. All right. Rate right, number three. Here we go. Whoa. Ooh. Why don't you go out here so we don't get that uh, off? Uh, it's not bad, actually. I don't mind it at all. It's actually pretty fast. Looks good. Surprisingly agile. Can we get a, a full throttle pass? Just over the right camera. There. Wow, that's good. Good yaw rate. Yes, yeah, so the yaw rate actually, some some of them, the yaw rate doesn't change. This one, it does. So that's good. All right, yeah, let's do a full throttle, low pass. Like it's the wind's coming towards the church, but full throttle ahead. Full and because speed. this is not outfield, you can use throttle to aid in speed. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, it's great, quite fast, very, very fast, actually. Fun for all ages. The only thing is, I mean, yeah, it's a little light, it gets kind of thrown around in the wind a little bit. Uh, let's try some of the buttons because I'm so, curious. Okay, the first R one, button. first one, IDK. 
<laughs> what does that do? It appears to have done absolutely naught. So it almost feels more. Hold on. What does that do? No. Really? Does it just make it fly better? Does it? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so it's, that makes sense. The instructions were accurate about that. That doesn't actually, this is probably, hold it, nothing. Okay, that doesn't do anything at all. Oops. Second IDK. Oh, that headless mode? No. The it lights does. are flashing now. That's either the, the lights battery. Are just flashing. It's, it's either the move. battery is dead or, or deactivate it. Let's deactivate it. No. No, okay. So that, that, that doesn't, I, I'm guessing that's probably record. Oh. Um, return to home. So we're all the way over here. We took oh, off right there. Let's see if it returns to home. Go. Um, uh oh. I mean, it actually kind of is. Hold on. <laughs> it just drops out of the sky. Uh, uh, it's kind of going farther. It's going. Let's turn that off. It's going back to China. Okay. We should probably take it down a little bit. I don't know. Uh oh. That, that was me. All right. Okay. So we're all right. Oh, now we're focused. farther this way. Let's let's see if it'll return to home. Return. It's going forwards. We it's, took it's, off. From, come back! Yeah, so... Come back! Where's it going? Okay, I got control of it again. Um, yeah, return home doesn't work. It just... Yeah, well, <laughs> it doesn't work. I think it's going back to the factory that it was assembled um, in China. Okay, one more IDK. I think this might be headless mode. Let's go. So the it, box did advertise it having headless Yes, mode. this is headless oh. mode. And it actually works w rather well. So the uh, instructions were inaccurate about that. They stated that this button does nothing on Look. this particular model of drone. Okay, the only problem is I can't see the orientation at all because the LEDs. So it's purely just memory based. So when I'm in headless mode, I can't actually dr use it. So right now, okay, this is forward and that's away. Hmm. So it actually is working properly. That's pretty cool. The only thing is if you're not flying at night, you're not gonna be able to see it because I have no visibility of it because yeah. of the LEDs. So, okay, let me put this down. You can try it out. All it's right. really not that bad of a drone. I'm actually it, pretty impressed with it. The maneuverability is decent. Whoa. That's... Look <laughs> at that. And you get a nice high sync rate because it's not altitude. I kind of like this. There you go. Uh, ah, yeah, it's so tall enough. it kind of falls over easily. But okay. you could probably land it easier. Let's take it to rate one. Starting off in rate number one. There he goes. He's up. Yeah. It's so red it's forward. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird. It is. Okay. It is really weird. It's yeah. not bad. Kind of. The throttle. But the, the throttle's weird. It sticks and it doesn't. It, it's really, really weird. It's there's, just. There's a point you can like lift it up slightly and the motor will turn on. And then it turns on about yeah. The throttle is ratchety. It's not like super precise, which kind of made it hard to land. When you're flying it, it doesn't really bother you too much. Four minutes. It is dead. It is dead. Really? Yep. Well, that didn't last long at all. We were only up in the air for about seven minutes. I mean, I guess just keep flying it, but keep it in the grass so in case it uh just it falls out of the like sky, it. yeah. Oof. We didn't even get to do a range test, but it, it flew pretty you know far what? away. Right up. Oh, it said the range is lower when the battery's. Yeah. A little bit. They can fly to the end of the field, so that's good. We are losing altitude. Can you try to do a stunt, or is it just falling? Oh, it fell. That's it. Yeah. Seven or eight sixteen on the flight so it was time. Advertised to have five minutes of flight time. Wow. Okay. So six. Six minutes. Six. So, so we were like recording for a little without actually flying it. So I'm guessing it was right around that six to seven minute so benchmark. We have this one, right? Wow. So the battery in it should have the same. It does have the same connector. It's way too big, though. I can tell you that right now. Let's we try. Let's try. Okay. I'll try it out. I guess see if it fits. Just press it. Oh. Go for it. Oh. It, it feels alive. Does it feel a little more fast? It feels a little more, oh god, more the rudder response is terrible, it's like yanking. Yeah, the controls aren't the best, so that's another downside for it. Oh it, it does feel a little more nippy. So, so far the only two downsides on this drone are the battery life uh, with the stock pack and the, the controls. Just generally less stick response. Actually, I have an cool. idea. Since we didn't get a chance to do that, oh my god, that's fast, holy shit. It's faster, definitely. Alright, I can set it down for you. No, 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 let's go do some slaloms. Absolutely. Cause we can really see how the controls are on it. Do some crashes. Gotta get some in. Always good to have them in. Good. Oh, hey, just throw it. Throw it in the in the grass. Oh, yeah, room. you can do that. Yeah, no, it's too. So let's see how good that guy rolls. Let's see if it'll uh, catch itself. Do you remember on the big quad, it kind of shit itself doing that. Nope. That's this one's fine. good. Axel's aircraft. This thing's actually pretty fun. All right, let's let's try that slalom again. Let's I try that slalom. Kind of a crap pilot. But... Now that we're now that you can actually see the whole course. How is it controlling? So it has, you have to like turn it backwards to cancel out the momentum because uh, it builds up a lot. It does, it does actually kind of build up a lot of momentum. It looks pretty good. 
yeah. Oh, you can see it there. Oh, yeah. That's a good little, that's a good little flyer. Let's go for another low pass through here. I mean, it's not bad, but like. Yeah, it's only, it's only 550. We went from a 280 to a 380, sorry. 380 to five. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's a bit bigger. I don't want to kill it, too, because I want to fly that other one. Yeah, this, the S5C is fun. Oh! Yeah, it sucks. This kind of highlights, you actually have to, like, anticipate your turn. And then you have to counteract have to it counter to make sure you're not. I'm going to get that one. We're going to go around. You have to be very, very Let's careful. Let's try some wider. It's better at the wider stuff, like this. The aileron authority isn't bad. Like, it can bank really well. I keep thinking you're gonna hit the damn tree because my depth perception is terrible. It's crazy, though, for me. The little wider slaloms is better for this. Whoa! Oh, I thought I was gonna hit it too. God damn! I'm just going gnarly with it. It's fun, though. It is pretty fun. So if it can't do double flip. I'm actually giving it full input on anything. I'm just kind of coasting through the slaloms now, doing it wider. It's Perfect. It's really great. no issues. But as soon as has, I start going crazy with it, it has really, really bad momentum issues. But again, again, this is a bigger battery. It, it was a little less bad with the with the stock pack, but uh, yeah. damn. Can't see it. Oh, lost visual. Right there we go. All right. Oh, ah, it's good enough. Yeah, hard to land. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna so, save this battery just so I don't. Yeah, because so we got the we got the S5C. Yeah. SX15. I again. Just just call this thing the UN Science UAV, bro. Not a bad drone at all. Can't use bigger batteries. Very fast. The only downsides are number one, can't do double flips because there is a. It kind of gives it throttle after you do a flip automatically. Second one is the throttle. It's yeah. clunky. So you're you do it doesn't power on immediately. It powers on around here mm -hmm. for some reason. And it's just the whole controls themselves. A little laggy. A little sticky. It is not yeah. really precise at all. If you want to see more drones and aircraft? Everything of the like. Give us a subscribe, like yeah. the video, leave us a cool comment. Anything helps. Really appreciate you guys' support. And let us know what you want to see next. I think we're going to do that big helicopter. Yeah. And then Sky Rover King. Sky Rover King. And then we might just start doing indoor stuff because this weather has been awful. We're actually lucky to be out here today. We'll see you all in the next one. See you.